everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another Seek Science Club video. And today, we are going to dissect a heart. Yay! Yay! Or some people may be like, oh no! But it's okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Materials. What materials you are going to need? That's what you're wondering. Well, guess what? We have all of the materials right inside of our Seek Science Club monthly subscription. So we are going to see what materials are in here to dissect a heart, a mammal's heart, of course, but not an individual person. Okay, we don't, we're not gonna do that. All right, so let's move forward. So some of the materials you are going to need, it comes with a lab coat, right? because we don't want to get all the messy juices on our body or on our clothes. You also have, uh-oh, a pair of goggles for safety precaution, okay? Goggles. And you have the actual heart, okay? Dissection tray cutting utensils, and things that you need so that we can separate the different parts of the heart. So let's get started. All right, boys and girls, I am back. So step number one, you need to make sure that you have on proper attire when you are getting ready to dissect. And if you are underage, meaning if you are less than uh, 13 years of age, or in the seventh or eighth grade, you do need parent assistance. And if you are in the eighth up to 12th grade, you will need parent assistance. So remember, make sure you have the proper equipment, hair tied back, goggles on to protect your eyes, gloves on, and also we will give you a disposable lab coat, okay? So the next step, we are going to start to dissect and look at different parts of the heart. Let's get started. So let's go over just a few basic things here and I'm going to show you and again you'll have a guide to help you follow through on a, inside of your kit all right so here you have the right atrium notice there's like a little hole there that's at the top okay so this part is the right atrium this is the right ventricle this whole section here this little nice little chunk here this is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle. We'll have this outlined for you so that you can follow through. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper and cut starting with the right atrium and then we'll talk about what these little holes are for the organ of the heart, okay? All right, so if you notice, I cut open on the right ventricle, I mean not right ventricle, right atrium, and you notice these little tubes here, you see that? See that? But don't blow inside of it, please. And also I started to cut the right ventricle. Notice it looks a little like turkey meat, or maybe someone's chicken meat. Um, the heart has muscles, okay? So it has muscles to protect it on the outside and also on the inside. So I'm gonna cut so that we can go over these little horns that somebody would say, blow the horn, beep, beep. But we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut, uh, not cut, but I am gonna go ahead and discuss what these are. But let's go ahead and dive a little bit more inside. So these are like the veins inside of the heart. Okay, so we're just exploring right now. Well, I'm exploring, but you have a worksheet that will help you to identify the different parts, okay? So make sure you go through that first so you know what you're looking for. So I'm exploring the cut so that I can show you different parts and we're gonna get back to the, the little holes, okay? They have a name too. All right, 
Now that we are back, hopefully you explored a little bit just to get familiar with some of the different parts. And remember I was talking to you about these two little holes. So we have this one that's to our right, that's by the right atrium. This is a, a superior vena cava. This allows the blood to flow into the atrium, all right? So I'm just gonna poke it a little bit with this wooden stick that comes in your kit. With this tube, this is how the blood enters in the heart. So it enters in the heart through the this one right here, which is the superior vena cava, and also the inferior vena cava, and then it goes to the right atrium, which is what I showed you earlier. All right, so the right atrium is actually over here, and this is the left ventricle. So it flows through here, through the right atrium, and it also goes through the inferior vena cava, all right? We have identified some parts of a mammal's heart, and now I want you to continue to explore on your own and tell us how does blood flow through the heart? So the heart is helpful for keeping us alive to pump blood throughout our body. So please send us a video with a picture on how you are able to tell us how blood flows through the body. And don't forget to use your QR code with your subscription that comes inside of your STEM kit box. So make sure you subscribe and then we'll see you in another Seek Science video. Bye!